Good afternoon, everybody. So we're back here in HR World. And today, we would like to continue with recruitment and selection. So yesterday, we discussed how recruitment and selection ensures that the workforce has relevant skills and the abilities for the organization's current and future organizational goals. So when you practice good recruitment and selection practices, you can improve employee engagement, you can reduce absenteeism and increase retention. So understaffing can be a huge issue within organizations. So when you have a department and that department is operating with an employee shortage, this puts a strain on your current employees that's operating. It causes them to work double shifts and it can lead to resentment, medical and health issues, or even burnout of that. those, uh, those rather good employees that you have. Um, you can, this can also lead to persons calling in sick, late, absenteeism, working to rule, etc. And also, you can increase retention when you find the right person for the role. You will be pleased with their performance. They're going to be most likely stay for the long term due to the confidence they exude in the performance of their task. So you do not want to overwhelm your employees, but you want to be able to put recruitment and selection to ensure that you have the right amount of staff. Keep in mind there are things such as um, times, holidays, vacations, Christmas. There are certain holidays where you need to increase your staff in complement. You must put contingencies in place. And it says people sometimes are here person say, well, it's not easy to keep a temporary staff. Sometimes people are out there and you can keep a list of temporary input workers. And there are different persons out there that don't want permanent work, but they will come and give you like a day or two. But it depends on you speaking with them, having that relationship with them, building that relationship with them, building that relationship with your employees and your managers so that they can inform you well ahead of time that this is what is going to happen. You also need to take into consideration health issues of your current staff. All of this is part of recruitment and selection. You, HR has to be a strategist so that you'll be able to look forward like a chess game and plan. And you never plan for an employee to get sick, but you look into their um, history of how they've you have histories on year, two years, three years, and you look back at their records. You have employees that come to work every day, and you do have employees that take sick leaves for certain things. Look at your records, be a strategist, and employ your staff to suit. This is Sherma Sandiford, and I thank you for spending your time with me. Have a great day.